Hey everyone, it is Universal Yums time. So of course I have Rory here because he is uh, my taste testing partner. <laughs> uh, so if you're first time watching my channel or first time you see me do one of these videos, um, you can always go to universalyums.com. It is basically just every month they send you snacks uh, from a different country. I'm not quite sure what this country is yet. Um, there are two different size boxes. I get the big one, uh, but there's also a smaller one if you want less snacks. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. Like always, I will show you everything that's inside, and then we will try some things. Okay, so here's the paper for this month, and it looks like turkey. So here's my little booklet. Um, tells you January 2016 is turkey, and um, it'll give me a clue for what uh, focus for what next month's boxes. So you can read that. The cheese is stinky. The cheese is stinky and their chocolate is divine. One bite of these yums and you'll be saying all mine. But if you want a Valentine, then you may then you might have to share after all this place where love's in the air. Is this Paris? It's France? France, yeah. France next month? Alright, so next month maybe France. Um, inside the booklet also it just tells you um, uh, focus. It just tells you the different snacks. types of snacks that I got. So here's the tissue paper. We'll remove that. Oh, baby. Okay, so this is how it's laid out in the big box. Let's dig it out and see what we got. Okay, so we have something called, yes, all right, cookies. That's that's an easy place. Uh, it's an easy way to win us out right now, cookies. So Biscrum Duo. The cookies with uh, cocoa cream filling. So that is our book. We got something called Clip. It says pizza sticks. So I guess those maybe are pizza flavored. This looks like a dog treat. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you read that? So <laughs> Vizili Uzum. <laughs> Great molasses with walnut. Uh, this is the grossest looking thing, but you know, sometimes it usually ends up meaning it tastes awesome. So, I don't know, maybe you can say that a lot better than me. That's what it looks like. It is. This just looks weird. It just looks really weird. I will definitely try it though. Uh, we also got Turtactic Tur Mini. Uh, what is that? Lemon and or orange and cinnamon? I don't really know exactly what these are, but there's that. Uh, what is that? Cocoa Fest? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! This has pistachio in it. That's all me. That's all me right there. I love pistachio. That looks amazing. I'm really excited for that one. I wish they sent me a whole box of those. We'll see. Maybe it's not even good, but it probably is good. Um, nine Cat Tat uh, Banana. They actually kind of just look like wafers, like, I guess, banana flavored wafers. Uh, I also got something called Hazer Baba Turkish Delight with Pistachio. God! You'll probably. Rory likes the Turkish Delight. So these will probably be for him, but I do want to try one because, again, pistachio. Love it. All right. What else is in here? Uh, Nutty Max. It's got hazelnut cream, so that's a winner for me. Love that stuff. That's what it looks like. Uh, eight Keck Chicolata and Porta. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of looks like a cupcake. It's got chocolate and orange, though. There's that. Looks pretty good, though. Pretty good. Uh, oh no, this is broken! Looks like sesame... I don't know what it is, but it's like some kind of little treat with, that's made of uh, sesame. So, that's probably pretty good too. I guess we'll find out. Man, this one is loaded up. Uh, it looks like a candy bar. I love candy bar. It's milk chocolate coated bar with caramel and biscuit. Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's probably going to be amazing. Can't wait. Twix. That 
it does kind of look like Twix. And then they always toss little things in here, so it looks like I got something called can't even read it because of the way it's folded. Toffee? Topics. Topics? Is that an X? Mm. Okay. There's different flavors. It looks like there's an orange one. I got a lemon one. It wants to focus. And then I got, looks like green apple. Uh, and then they gave me a ton of whatever these are. Elim. Which I will just read in the book and see. Uh, what they are. Alright, so what are you thinking? What looks good? What do you want to try? Um, Alright, so first up we are going to try those. <laughs> gonna try these. The Hazel or the Hazer Baba Turkish Delight with Pistachio. Go ahead and open those up. There is nothing about that that I can find in the booklet, so I'm not sure if it was something extra, but I mean, uh, Turkish Delight, I think is kind of common. Uh, I mean, I don't see as much over here, but I, I, know, I know what it is. Oh, they're covered in powder. Oh my god. Well, I guess I've, I mean, I've seen Turkish Delight covered in powder before. Ugh. So it's what it looks like, and it is powdering all over my hands. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That pistachio is awesome. Okay. Woo! Um. Okay, so we're also going to try the nine cat tap. Apparently, according to this, um, you know how you, you know we have wafers in the United States. Because, you know they said we usually have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. They said over there they like more fruity flavors like bananas, let me say strawberries, peaches. Uh, oh my. Did this break up? Oh. Uh, okay. I guess that's how you eat it. So I thought they were three individual pieces, but it looks like that's just how it goes. One big one like that. Are you grab it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So they do break off. Oh, wow. That is strong banana flavor. It's not bad. Yet again, it's really tasty. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try the cookies because, like, why not? They're cookies. Apparently this is actually a vanilla cookie with fudge in the center and it's just got like chocolatey looking swirl on it. Uh, according to the booklet, this is uh, there's like a lot of advertisement for this one. Like if you're in a bind and you need to hurry up and get a gift for somebody or they're angry at you, I guess if you give them these cookies, the situation is diffused and everything is okay again. So I'm going to find out how good these are. Let me see the Woo! Smell the slaps you in the face. It smells good. Are you giving me? <laughs> Man, they smell kind of so things. good. Oh my god, they smell so good. I want some milk. Are getting mouthy back then? What do you think? No? You're like the biggest cookie fan ever. Oh man. This boy loves some cookies. He could not um, meet his cookie standards. It's not bad. I just don't. You just pale us in comparison to the other two things we tried. Uh. Okay, so. I'm going to say the rest of this, but we are going to end on this. So I looked up to see what this phallum is. So it is gum, chewing gum, but supposedly it lasts for a very, very long time. It is, what did I say? Pine and what? Ginger. Yeah. 
Um, it has a harder consistency than gum in the U.S., and the pine and ginger flavor can be off-putting to some. This is why you should give it a chance. Oh, oh my god. Okay, it's just... <laughs> so this is why you need to give it a chance. It is 100% naturally flavored from the resin of the mastic trees. It's sugar-free and can last for hours with full flavor. It's not only dentist recommended because it can prevent tooth decay and gingivitis, it also is recommended by doctors because it's scientifically proven to prevent ulcers and lower cholesterol. Oh, check the inside of your wrapper. You're supposed to have a Turkish fortune. How are we supposed to read it? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Use the Google Translate. Is All right, really so there is a fortune inside. I'll just have to use Google Translate to see what it says. How is it? Is it gross? And it lasts so long? So this is... <laughs> well, it's not hard to last long when it has no flavor. Like... <laughs> it looks like a little stick of, like, trident or something. Here is my fortune. Oh, my. I feel like I sprayed cleaning product in my mouth. Alright, everybody, so that is turkey. This gum is not... Not good, but I'm fighting off gingivitis and lowering my cholesterol, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you want to do your own box, you just go to universalyums.com and you choose what size is good for you. Uh, I, on the other hand, I'm going to continue to eat these cookies and probably get rid of this gum and dig in on the rest of this box. Uh, so until next time, I will see you later.